Hi guys! Okay, so yesterday, oh, sorry my nose itched, yesterday I went to the drugstore and I got new makeup! Okay, so let's see. I got BB Cream by Black Radiance. And this is in the color Cafe. So it's a little darker, like literally half a shade darker, maybe. Um, I got six lipsticks. The Java, mm, I was expecting it to look a lot different on, but this is also kind of just a nudie color like that. Oh, duh, I can just show you. I am retarded, like, sorry guys, I feel like an idiot. I am worried about swatching them, and I could have just shown them to you. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> What's up, Doc, is in this beautiful color. It doesn't look as pigmented on camera, but it definitely pops. So, yes, I am loving that one. That is my first choice. Um... As far as like a fuchsia-y kind of color, which I don't usually wear because I feel like my skin tone doesn't really go with some of the brighter colors, but I really like this one. And it is the fuchsia with blue pearl. And I don't know if you guys can pick up the little blue flecks, but yes, that is the pearl that they are talking about. And they're just amazing. I tried these on yesterday when I first bought them, so I know now which ones I love and which ones not so much. This is Sunset Peach. Let's see if I can roll that out. There you go. Sunset Peach. And like I said, it's like a pinky, it's like a peachy brown color. It looks pink, kind of like peachy pink, but it doesn't come off as peachy pink. It comes off more peach and brown. Um, this one is the Cashmere color which is just like kind of a dark ish chocolate brown it has almost like a silver undertone like the lipsticks people used to wear back in the 90s where it's kind of silver but it has the other colors as well the silver really comes through so that is definitely like a night kind of lipstick because of the silver shimmer that's in it i wouldn't wear that in the daytime and just because I had my other red that I showed you guys on the last video, I decided to go out and try to get like a different shade of red that was more, um, more downplayed, shall I say. And it is called Just Garnet. And it's this color. I know it probably looks really deep, which it is. It actually comes off really pigmented and it goes on smooth. And this actually is probably my second favorite from um, What's Up Doc and then this one. Of course, my very first NYX matte red is always my first, first love of lipstick color because I finally found a true red that I just... I can't live without it. They don't all claim to be long lasting. So, or like heat proof or eat proof or drink proof. So I will see how long they last um, throughout my day and how many times I have to reapply them when I go to do a review, which will be in a few days, but not today. And I will not do the review using any of the brown colors. Because today I'm actually wearing the Java color and it does not show on camera really. It kind of looks like I'm wearing chapstick. So we're just going to... I probably do the test in What's Up Doc. It's my favorite. Um, I also bought this, which is a mint facial mask by Studio 35 Beauty. Um, I was looking for the Queen Helen's mint julep mask but they don't sell that anymore I guess I don't know but this is a dupe for it um up here in the corner it actually says compare to the Queen Helen's mint julep mask Ugh, I can't feel like I can't talk today that's so weird um this is actually a lot of facial mask considering that you do not need to use like a ton of this you need like one little or maybe two little pumps onto your hand well not pumps I guess you squeeze it squeeze it onto your hand and this is eight ounces but it's 
totally full. They didn't jip you at all. It's full to the top, so you will have this for a long time. And I used it last night. Um, I don't want to give too much away because I am going to review this. I, I just say I used it already once. And I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, oh, I also got this little mini brush set. It has six pieces. It has a, an angle brush for blush. This eyeliner brush. I'm not going to take them all out right now. Um, this brow comb and brush. Okay, this one is just, um, an eyeshadow brush. And I know they are small. This was a travel size. Just kind of for when I go places and things like that. I will get another set that's a full set and I will show you guys that. Um, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to do a review on these because I won't be using them all the time. But I'll see. Um, this is just the face brush that came in. It says that it's a powder and, what does it say? Powder and face brush. So that's this one. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. I feel like there's a piece missing. Hmm. That's weird. It said six brushes. I only got five. But I'm not going to complain because I've already opened it and I used two of the brushes. So, missing one brush, it's fine. I'm not really all that concerned. And it comes in this little travel kit with a little snap on the front. And, oh, I went and I bought a sharpener because I did not have one for my Jordana 12-hour, sorry, someone text me, for my 12-hour made-to-last eyeliner and at first when I first got the Jordana eyeliner I didn't know whether I was going to be able to sharpen it because I kept getting these retractable ones and you know you can't sharpen those because they're in the plastic case so fortunately my Jordana eyeliner is a pencil and you can sharpen it I would advise you not to try and sharpen it to a point stick the pencil in rotate it all the way around one time and that should be good enough if you try to sharpen it to a point, it will not work because it is a liquid crayon type of pencil. So it will just keep breaking and you will be wasting your product. Plus, you don't really want it to be too sharp because, I don't know, when you're putting it on, it may not come out the right way. So if you're like me and you kind of like a thicker line on your eyes, sharpen it once. Um... If that doesn't do you justice, maybe give it a second go, but I wouldn't go any more than two. I think that is actually it. I feel like I bought more stuff at the store than I actually did. I hate that. Um, looking around, like, I don't have anything else to show you guys today. Oh, I actually know. I did. I did my nails with this, um... I forget exactly what it's called, but it's kind of like a instant manicure thing. It's those glue on um already prepared nails so what this is it's by sally henson and they're supposed to last up to seven days however in the reviews even the recent ones i've been hearing that they last up to three weeks so i put them on last night followed all instructions my hands were clean i pushed back my cuticles and all that kind of stuff um and i put them on last night Today, I've washed dishes, I've mopped and cooked and all that, and they're still intact. They don't feel like they're coming loose or anything, but it is only technically the first full day. So I will wait and see how long it takes them to start loosening up or popping off, and I will let you guys know because I know a lot of people don't have the money or the time if you're a busy mom to spend at the nail salon. So these were quick. I did these while my daughter was actually eating dinner. So they were really quick and really simple. And they look really natural. Like you can't. There are maybe like two air bubbles. But I get the air bubbles even when I go to the nail salon. So I don't feel like that's like a mistake. They really they look good. They all look like they're growing directly from my fingers. I just don't like the shine that comes with these false nails. 
it makes me feel like, I don't know, people say it looks like a top coat. I usually don't wear a top coat. Maybe that's why I don't like the shine. But I will do a review on them in a few weeks or whenever they decide to start falling off. I will let you guys know. Okay, have a good day, guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe below. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at everyday underscore Brie. And all of my blogs will be linked below. Bye. Hi, guys. Today I have... Why do I always do... What is that? Okay. They don't claim to be last long... Or... Oh my gosh, what am I saying?